Okay, folks. I'm standing here in the corner of um, 68th Street and Park Avenue. And this building, my camera's a little crooked here, but this building is the headquarters for the Council on Foreign Relations, which is, this is Spook Central too, because any conspiracy ever broached doesn't fail to mention the Council on Foreign Relations. And if you can see, it's going under some, they're doing some uh, remodeling on it. But I think if you look behind that sign, you'll see the name of Harold Pratt. This was the former residence of Harold Pratt. And Harold Pratt was a Standard Oil. The Pratt family were major stackholders in Standard Oil. Harold was a trustee, or his brother was the president of Standard Oil. There's a whole history here. But when Harold Pratt died, John Rockefeller II bought the building from his widow and donated to the Council of Foreign Relations. The Council of Foreign Relations, of course, was started by the Rockefellers, especially following their um, the World War I. And um, it ties in with their attempt to form a League of Nations. And that didn't happen. Okay. Spook Central. And here's the Union Club. Right there. And here's Hunter College. Okay. Now, if you continue down here. Hi. Um, one of these is a. Uh, See, Italiano, Italiano. See, there's a lot of, don't forget, the Italiano building is in Rockefeller Center. The Italia building. It's part of, uh, along, uh, close to um, 630, 5th Avenue. I showed you that. See? See, Italia, 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 see? Italia. See? Council, yeah, it's the council, General Council of Italia. See, they're also in Rockefeller Center, right across from St. Patrick's. Not surprising. See, the General Council of Italy. These were all established by, by David Rockefeller. See? Because this whole block was, was slated to be uh, demolished. And it was rescued by David Rockefeller's cousin. Who I think married in the South American money. Now we're coming up here. Oh, yeah, see, this is Rockefeller Central here. Now here's Asian Society. We're coming up on the Asian here. I'm going to show it to you. This is Park Avenue. I'm going to show it to you. Asian Society, it's a new building. It was co, it was, the Asian Society was co founded by John Rockefeller III and Henry Luce. Now Henry Luce again bought the rights of the Zapruder film that showed Kane was killed by a conspiracy and hid it from the American public until Jim Garrison uh, was able to legal, legal maneuver and pull it out of hiding. See, and this is it, the Asian Society. See, this is where they established their trade routes with, with China, where Trump is trying to tear apart. Can you see that, folks? But they don't like Trump. Right at the corner of 70th Street. There it is, the Asian Society. Founded by John Rockefeller III and Henry Luce, who was the publisher of Time Slash Life Magazine Incorporated out of Rockefeller Center. And that's where the Clinton Foundation is. You know, you could write a lot about the Clintons and the Rockefellers. I have. Read my books. I gotta go across the street. I'm coming up to... I almost tripped there. I'm coming up to... the richest address in New York City. I'm about to go across the street. There's still too much sun though across the street. Um, kind of a boring job being a doorman. But there's a Rockefeller Central around here. 
But the camera tipped a little bit. I don't like to do that. See, they're doing a lot of facelifting around here. They use preservation money. The richest buildings in New York City, the richest citizens, they use preservation money. They don't use their own money, they use the taxpayers' money. I want to I show you this building. And it connects to the Kennedy assassination. I visited, I've been here before. It connects to the Kennedy assassination because George T. Morenci's gave his address at 750 Park. And this is it right here. Well, that's the entrance way. This is the richest address in Manhattan. I'm going to close the door. See, they took... Now, that awning would say 740 Park. This is 740 Park. I recognize the entrance, but I've been here before. But 740 Park has a history to the Kennedy assassination. For one thing, it was constructed by... James Lee, who was Jacqueline Kennedy's grandfather, and he was on the he was a Manhattan real estate developer, and he was on the board of Chase Bank, and he was instrumental, very instrumental in building one Chase Plaza down in uh, down in uh, Wall Street, the heart of the financial district. And Jackie Kennedy lived here for a while. She was a young girl, so George gave his address. George gave his address at 750. They're ducking back in there, but I think we're well within our rights. George gave his address to 750, um, which is the next building down. And in, in, when he arrived in 1938, John Rockefeller II, John Rockefeller II had a 26 room apartment in here. That apartment was taken over by Stephen Schwartzman, who name is on the front of the New York City Library, whose, co whose business partner was Peter G. Peterson, who whitewashed, whitewashed Nelson Rockefeller when he got caught taking money out of the Rockefeller Foundation. And Peter G. Peterson took over Nelson Rockefeller's old apartment at 810. These are some very powerful, dangerous people, folks, who live here. See, they're probably surprised how much I know about them, but I know a lot. But see, when they spy on us, it's okay, but we spy them then, they don't like it. See, I'm going to move. I don't know what these guys up to. But anyways, this doorman is up, but he saw me. Although, we're within our legal rights. See? They're looking. There's nothing really they can do. Really. This is America. The Rockefellers have a, a strip all our rights left. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're kind of watching me, but there's nothing they can do. There it is. I'm going to make them nervous. Yeah, there's 740. See it right on the, the, on the cover there? Here. There it is, 740 Park. I'm afraid, you know, they might come and try to snatch my videos. There's a lot of hours of video here. But you see how they are? David uh, Koshley, not Cox, David Cope. Who's it? Who's the broker? Jackie Thank Kennedy, you. Oswald's friend, Georgie Morenci, was on a first name basis with Jackie Kennedy. She used to call him Uncle George. Yeah. See, so 750 must be this building right over here. And he gave his address and said, I'm not making this up, folks. It's in his warrant commission testimony. Oh, boy, I could talk for hours and hours and hours. I could talk for hours and hours and hours. Okay, we're going to go back. I don't want to be very careful because I don't want anybody to... Um, attempt to confiscate my video here. These people got a lot of pull.
time to go. Now, I'm just going to talk to you how the Rockefellers, I better look at my camera and how Jackie Kennedy's related to the Rockefellers. Now, William Rockefeller was one of the original partners of Standard Oil. Another original partner, there were several partners. There was several partners. William Rockefeller was one, who was John's brother, and another man named Oliver Burr Jennings. Well, William Rockefeller and Oliver Burr Jennings married sisters. Uh, they were the Good Cell sisters. So they were brother-in-laws and uh, business partners at the same time. And, uh, well, Albert Burr Jennings' grandson, Hugh Dudley Auctioncloth, married Janet Bouvier, Jackie Kennedy's mother, Janet Lee Bouvier. 